Hello everybody, this is Rob and welcome to R&B Reviews. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing another movie that you can watch in the comforts of your own home, whether it's on DVD or on a streaming network. And this movie I'm going to be reviewing today is called Mrs. Miniver. Um, so as for those of you that may or may not know if you've been following my channel, I've actually been going through my DVD and VHS collection to see if there's any movies I want to keep or get rid of. And yeah, this is actually a genuine VHS copy of it. <laughs> and I can remember, you know, the movies on the tape and everything. So I've been going through the movie. Um, I wanted to take a look at it, actually, because I've heard for a long time great things about the movie for years. Um, the movie at one leading actress, Greer Garson, a Best Actress Award. And according to the back of this box, it says that Winston Churchill, who was the Prime Minister in England at the time, said it helped Britain more than a fleet of destroyers. And it also says that Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt, the President of the U.S. had leaflets of its final um, stirring speech airdropped over Europe. And according to this blurb at the top of the box, it says, uh, one of the greatest motion pictures ever made, the finest film yet made about the present war, and it was published in the New York Times in 1942. All right, so basically, Mrs. Miniver is a 1942 American romantic war drama film. It stars Greer Garson as Mrs. Miniver and Walter Pigeon as her husband. It's based off of a book that was published in 1940, also called Mrs. Miniver by Jan Struther, and the film shows how the life of an unassuming British housewife in rural England is touched by the beginning of World War II. Um, she has an older son named Vin, and she has two smaller children, a son and a daughter. It, this movie was produced by MGM, and it features a supporting cast that includes Teresa Wright, Dame May Whitty, Reginald Owen, Hed, uh, Henry Travers from It's a Wonderful Life, Richard Ney, and Henry Wilcoxon. Now, Mrs. Miniver won six Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actress for Teresa Wright, and it was the first film with a plot line centered on World War II to win an Oscar for Best Picture. I think the audience at the time, of course, might have found this film very relevant. Now, I admired this movie, but I didn't quite love it, but nonetheless, I could see parallels in situations where a country has to band together. At first glance, the movie looks like a time capsule of the past, but as I continued to watch this movie, I could see parallels between back then and now, for example, with the current COVID-19 situation, or even when I was in high school with September 11th. I could see people from regular life having to adapt to a new one. Like the characters in this movie, I see people, you know, struggling through tough times and uh, the country or in some situations, like the whole world, banding together to stay strong. Now, I like the contrast between the beginning of this movie and later on. The film starts out in the summer of 1939 and everyone is going about their normal business and people seem happy. We see Mrs. Miniver, again, as I mentioned, played by Greer Garson, buying an expensive hat and her husband buying a new car. Now, I like the scene where they talk about how they're spending more than what they can afford, and throughout the beginning of the movie, we hear drops of dialogue from supporting characters talking about trouble brewing and if there's going to be a war with Germany or not. But once it's announced that England is at war, everyone is surprised but eager to do their part to help, whether it's doing air raid drills or volunteering. And the rest of the movie, I thought, uh, did a pretty good job at showing how the war is affecting not only the Minerva family, but everybody in town. Now, I didn't read the book that this movie is based off of, but what I can um, tell, it doesn't really have a plot, which may explain why the movie feels like a collection of episodes. For example, we see the Minerva's oldest son, Vin, being called to fight, and we see how it affects Mrs. Miniver. There is a story of Mr. Miniver volunteering on the river patrol, and there's even a romantic plot between Vin and Carol, the granddaughter of a wealthy uh, neighbor. The movie, for the most part, I thought was very well acted. I thought Greer Garson was excellent at playing the lead character. She has a calm, soft, well-spoken voice and a comforting presence, not only for her children, but for the townspeople as well. In the scene, like I mentioned, where her older son is called to fight, we see how this is breaking her heart, you know, with facial expressions. Now, I thought Walter Pigeon um, was kind of miscast in the role. For some reason, I felt like he didn't really fit it. Uh, but they, uh, May Whitty, who is the wealthy neighbor, I thought played a good antagonist, and I thought she played her performance very well. I think audiences expecting a realistic war film with believable characters like what we have now may find the film and the characters to be superficial. But I think the film's themes of life being precious and life being changed after a major event is relevant. The movie still has suspenseful moments and has moments that pack a punch or two. Even though the characters may not be deep and complex as we have in modern movies, 
I think for the most part, I felt for Mrs. Minerva and her older son and the older son's relationship with Carol. I do recommend taking a look at the movie. I can imagine why it made such a big impact when it first came out. I think Greer Garson made a strong leading character and she's able to convey her character's uh, thoughts and feelings not only through the dialogue but of course through you know facial expressions. Um, it may not be as deep as other war movies, but I think it's a very relatable movie, and I think that um, with some very good, well-acted moments as well. All right, well, that's my review of Mrs. Miniver. Um, if you've seen the movie, go ahead and post your comments below, and if you end up uh, finding it and watching it, what did you think of the movie? Again, post your comments below. Uh, feel free to hit the like button and check out some other videos of movie reviews and specials and Q&As that you can watch on the comforts of your own home. Thank you very much for watching.